This is a short tutorial on how to use Microsoft Excel 10 to create a Gantt chart. Gantt charts help with project management and keeping track of tasks and when they're due. To create a Gantt chart for your e-learning project, start with your data, your tasks, the start and end date, as well as the duration. Once you have your data, click on Insert. Choose Bar Chart, and we'll want the 2D bar that is stacked. This box is where the chart will be. Now select Data from your data set to put in the bar chart. Click on Add. The first axis is your start dates. Now choose your data by highlighting it and click OK. Now add the duration and choose that set of data and click OK. Next, we don't want these numbers here. We want to have our tasks. So click Edit. And now just highlight all your tasks and choose OK. And OK again. Here is your Gantt chart. First, get rid of the legend. We don't need it and it'll make your Gantt chart wider and fit nicely in the box and you can adjust the box size as needed. As you can see, your tasks are in reverse order. Let's fix that. Double click on them and in the Access Options box, click Categorize in Reverse Order and hit Close. Now all your tasks are in the correct order. Get rid of the blue bars by double clicking on them and in the Format Data Series box under Fill choose No Fill and under the Border Color choose No Line and hit Close. Now as you can see the blue bars are gone. They are not needed because really what we're looking for is the duration. This gap here is unnecessary. Start our Gantt chart from our first date, which is January 5th. Click on that, and up here we have it set for date. But if you click General, you'll see it puts in a number value. So we want ours to start at somewhere between 41640 and 41650. So I'm estimating 41644. You can hit undo to get your dates back because we don't want to change that. Now click on the axis of dates and under the format access box under access options click on fixed minimum and type in that number value 41644. Four. This number value is going to reflect whatever your chart number indicates for the date, so be sure you get the accurate number for your chart. And under Major Units, choose Fixed and change it from 10 to 7 and click the Close button. And now you are complete with your Gantt chart. Just update data in the duration section or start or end date as needed.